Hi, this is Kartik from Design School by WP Algorithm.com. In this video, we'll discuss Flexbox container beyond the basics. If you want to learn Elementor Flexbox basics, I made a separate video on it. Link to that will be in the description or in Elementor basics. Specifically, in this video, we'll talk about the overflow option, the Elementor Flex wrap, what it does and why you should consider using it. And finally, we'll discuss order and size that include flex grow flex shrink and a custom property that has this numbers we'll discuss all this in this video so i'll just click and drag this container element right this is basically a flex box container so we'll add some content to it i'll also give this container a background so we can see things better so i'll just use a darker background for this i'll again click on this container go to layout i'll also add a minimum height maybe around 500 pixels or so you can also add height in viewport width so this decides or binds the content within right and i'll click on the container again click on items i'll choose row direction so all the elements that you add within this will be aligned horizontally or arranged horizontally so let's keep adding some widgets first widget i want to add is heading widget and you can see it's moved in here Let's add another widget. This time maybe I'll add an image widget and when I drag it, you can see I can only move it or position it horizontally since the flex direction is row. Let us pick an image for this. I'll click on insert media. I also want to add another widget which is a button. Now notice when we choose flex direction as row under items, right? You can also make it a column right so they'll be arranged like this but notice when we choose a row you can pick anything you want based on the design requirement let me also add some content into this heading widget so i'll just copy some lorem ipsum text click on this heading widget and i'll just paste it over there now notice when i add more content into this heading widget the other widgets are squished right they don't look good and they look really ugly the image widget you can barely see the content of an image that's because we have specified a flow as row but there's not enough space to accommodate all of them properly and this is when you'll use something called wrap so when things are getting squished within the container you simply pick this option and just like that you can see this whole thing looks far better but you can see that it actually breaks the flow into a new line. Now these elements are moved into the new row and you can arrange them using this align content option. Since our direction is a row, align content will do cross axis alignment, which is vertically. So if you choose flex end, you can see all them, all of them are moved towards the bottom. Flex start will move all of them to the top which is a cross axis of our regular flow which is row so our regular flow is row but since we chose wrap it breaks the flow and now we can pick how the elements in the wrapped content are arranged so you can pick these options and they're arranged in the cross axis now if you add another heading widget you can see that it automatically puts that into another row that's because it knows that if this two heading widgets are put next to each other, the content will get squished and this is a better way to display content. So that is flex wrap. Essentially, you use flex wrap within a container when you think that there's not enough space to accommodate all of them in the regular flow so that you can break the flow and put them in another direction. The same applies for column as well. So essentially flex wrap when you pick a direction, it can be row, column, and reverse row is basically changing the order, but still in the horizontal direction. The same applies for column. Whenever you pick a direction, when the container cannot accommodate all the widgets or elements within that properly, so that they all can be displayed properly, you can put that in a new line or break the flow and put them in a new line. That's what this wrap does. Now, this is how it looks without the wrap. Absolutely horrible. And this is how it looks with the wrap. So this is for that correction. And again, it's responsive. You can adjust it per device, right? You can adjust it however you like it. 
Now, in the same way, overflow is also another property that lets you control the overflow. You can see that in this container, I set the items flow to row, but you can see the items extend beyond the row. And if I don't set the overflow and if I don't set the wrap, let's say I don't set the wrap itself. You can see most of the items are overflowing and there's a horizontally scrollable section and that is a bad user experience. So you always want to wrap your container in case it's overflowing and also make sure click on overflow and click on hidden so that it at least doesn't scroll horizontally because it's a horrible user experience. So that is overflow and that is also the wrap. Elements gap just adds space between your widgets or elements since there can be containers within this container this is just called elements gap instead of widgets gap that's a neat little touch now the next property that i want to discuss is called order well as the name suggests it lets you change the order of the elements right so you can move click on any widget go to the advanced tab or you can actually click on any inner container and go to the advanced tab click on the order you can either move it on to the last right I can simply click on this image, go to advanced tab, click on end and that moves the image onto the end. So this is basically a way to rearrange elements and you can click on this custom button and you can give each of the widgets a number. So if I give this image a number of one, click on button, go to advanced, I'll give this an order number of three, I'll click on this heading widget, click on custom. I'll give it two so image one this is two and this is three so that's how they're arranged and of course let's also wrap our container so something like that or you can simply click here move to the end just like that you can rearrange elements even within a wrapped container so that is order it's pretty self-explanatory basically it lets you rearrange elements within the container in the flow right and in case you apply wrap it will rearrange elements in the wrapped container right so that is a really neat thing and the second thing i want to talk about is called size okay i have a container and the flow of the container is set to vertical i set that to column so all the elements are stacked from top to bottom and i have an icon widget i have an image widget and i have some text within the text heading widget right so notice when I hover over this, there is a blue outline around this icon showing the boundaries of the container holding this icon. And the same goes for every widget and every inner container as well. So when you hover over it, there's a blue background indicating the boundaries of the widget, right? So I'll just click on this icon, click on advanced tab and under size, if you click on flex grow, this is basically flex grow, all that doesn't say so. So if you click on grow, you can see the boundary of the icon expands. So it takes up the additional space available within the container. If we do that for the other elements as well, they also try to take up as much space as available when there's space within the flow of the container. And when there's not enough space, you can simply shrink it so that other elements can take up the space. So you can either grow the element or shrink the element. And this happens in the direction of flex container. So within items direction, I set it as column. So all the flex grow, flex shrink and all that properties are applied along the direction, meaning the vertical direction. Now, if we change this to row, you can see all of them are squished. So I'll just click on this icon widget. Let's try to fix that. Since we chose shrink for this, it tried to shrink as much as it could so that it could fit other widgets, but it look it's looking horrible. Let's click on grow and that grew to take up available space so that it's properly displayed. Let's also do the same thing for the image widget and it does the same. Let's also do the same since I think we do have a lot of space within this container and the flow of this container is horizontal. We can use up that horizontal space instead of squishing our text like this. You can simply click that. And that actually overflows so you can use that and you can also wrap things around it we'll simply remove grow and that is properly displayed 
if i try to grow the available space it tries to grow out of container although this is not supposed to happen but we didn't set the overflow so this is happening so we can simply click on the text editor widget or heading widget and remove the grow now you can choose none and that follows the regular flow or you can choose custom in which you can say by how much you want to grow it or by by how much you want to shrink it well these are basically numbers and what do they stand for so if i say let's say if i click on custom and if i set the flex grow of this to 1 and i'll click on the image widget go to advanced and i'll click on custom i'll set flex grow to 2 notice that this grows twice as much as this grows although that amount can be 10 pixels or 15 pixels let's say if this icon widget grows by 15 pixels this element image widget tries to grow twice as that if it's available right of course the space has to be available and the same thing here also you can specify how much each container should shrink in case the space is not available also that is a way to specify and control things let me remove the wrap let me also set the content width i'll click here i'll reset all of the elements this if i try to just grow this now the elements are properly displayed you can also specify flex grow as one click on this you can set this to none you can see how by playing with different properties all the elements are arranged basically flex grow tries to grow an element within the container in its normal flow if there's available space it tries to grow by the amount you specify or if you simply choose this grow it will try to grow as much as it can the sh same thing with shrink if the space is not available within the container it tries to shrink as much as it can and custom you can specify the ratios in which each of the widgets can grow or shrink right hopefully that made sense so this is the whole elementor flexbox fundamentals that you need to know to work with flexbox and i'll be building a lot of layouts we'll be building a lot of things with elementor flexbox so stay tuned for that also check out elementor basics playlist on the channel for more info i'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel bye bye